Hey, welcome to the show. We're here at Celebrity Kitchens, as always. Today, I got Tiago Gomez from the Mexican Post. You're out of the location in Philadelphia, correct? Yes, uh, I'm located on 16th and Cherry Street in Love Park. We also have a different location in Old City and uh, a location here in Limiton, um, Delaware, and also in Canada, we have like a new restaurant that just opened like a couple months ago. Okay, you guys are open seven days a week? Seven days a week. And we're open for lunch and dinner? Lunch and dinner uh, starting at 11 o'clock, except Sundays and Saturdays we start at 11, I mean at 12. Okay, and what they can do, you can always go to the, uh, is, the uh, website is themexicanpost.com and they can check out any of the information there. I'm sure the hours are there, the menus. What I like about it is you say that even though whatever location you go to, you have a big base menu that is similar at all the places, and then but the daily specials change depending on the chef that's at whatever location. Yeah, sure. Uh, we have like a large standard menu that you can find pretty much any location you go, and it comes up to the chefs to put like a different special on a daily basis or on the weekends, you know, so they can different, different themselves from each other. Right. Now, this is the part I like. When we were talking before we started filming, you told me that you started when you first came to the country, you started basically as a dishwasher. You started as low as you can go and you've worked your way up to the top now. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's, it's a great story. I started on dishwasher um, on an old city location. Uh, it was the first job I got here. I tried just to make some money, you know. And uh, I started liking the environment, liking to cook, and I started getting, you know, better in the restaurant, work as a line cook, as a prep guy. And further on, I just looked for my education, went to culinary school, and right now, things look great. Yeah, now you're, you're up at the top, so that's good. So yeah. tell me a little bit about what you're gonna do for us today, because I, I think it's pretty interesting. I've looked at all the ingredients, so I'm kind of excited to taste it, so let's, let's give them a little idea of what we're gonna do. Okay, first of all, I'm making like a salad appetizer here, uh, which is basic. Um, I'm having like this shell here, which is like a deep fried tortilla in a round shape, like a cylinder, right? And um, I'm using like a arugula grain to stuff that. Some basic saute shrimp, and I'm gonna coat the salad with some uh, aioli habanero, which is like a mayonnaise based dressing. And just like I'm gonna top the salad with some queso fresco and um, fresh avocados to give like a nice Mexican touch to. And the shrimp, we're gonna, is, is there any seasoning on the shrimp or that you leave I'm, that mostly for the dressing? I'm pretty much doing like a salt, pepper, a little bit of cayenne, you know. Okay, so color. we're getting most of the cake for, from the dressing. Yeah, it's the, a the, very the nice cake. cake from the dressing. Okay, and then we're doing a, a dessert? Yeah, I'm making a Mexican churros, which would be a Spanish pronunciation yeah, for we that. We call them churros. Yeah, and uh, it's like a, it's a kind of donut thing, it's also deep fried, uh, a little bit more chewy inside. And uh, I'm serving that accompanied by a spicy hot chocolate, which would be like a, you know, a Mexican touch to the dish. So you can dip that churros in the spiced chocolate, and you can also drink the chocolate after you finish your donut. Okay, cool. And then we might have a surprise third segment for him, like something to, to, for, to do with the bar or something, like some yeah. tequilas and some tasting there, or maybe, um, well, we'll just, we'll, we'll let him hang on for that. We'll save that yeah, for the sure. third segment. All right, so when we come back, we're gonna start with the salad. So stick with us, you don't wanna miss what's gonna happen next.